We all know the struggle of when you want to open packs, but you literally have no VC and you don't want to spend the money on VC because you don't get anyone in packs. I recommend visiting goldar.com to get your MT. It's a reliable company that gives you your MT. And uh, I bought some of these guys the other day and then I partnered with them because I thought this was a dope site. So yeah, use NS for a discount code and buy your MT today. Alright, yo, what's good everyone? Nick Smith is back. Welcome to another episode of the Carmelo Anthony My Career Series. Now, to start off, this is my update. This is like a little update on my attributes right now. I'm a 73 overall, and um, I'm still on that eight game trial that you start out when you play My Career. Um, so, you guys already saw game one and game two of the eight game trial. In this episode, you're going to be seeing game seven and game eight. I'm just going to skip all the games in between because I kind of want to just get into the regular season. And also, after this uh, episode, I go into free agency. So if you guys want to see the free agency episode, leave a like on this video. If we can reach 500 likes, I'll upload the next episode of this series, which it's free agency, man. Do we go to back? To, do we go to New York? Do we stay in Denver? Do we go to uh, Chicago, LA? Who, who knows? I guess you guys have to find out if you see the next episode. Anyway, this is game 79. So I've got game 79 and game 80 in this episode. And also, I'm rocking the number 22. If you want to know why, I couldn't choose number 7. I couldn't choose number 15. What's 7 plus 15? It's number 22. What did Carmelo Anthony wear in high school? Number 22. No, college he won. Wait. I don't, one of them he wore number 22, so, wait, he didn't need, yeah, yeah, that, that's right, okay, we're, we're good, no, he didn't wear number, he, in Syracuse he wore number 15, so yeah, in high school, um, he wore number 22, which is pretty cool, so uh, yeah, we're rocking number 22 in this series, and um, hopefully we can change it, if, uh, if we stay in Denver, maybe we can change it to like, if somebody leaves us, I don't even think we have a number 7 on this team, I don't know why I can't, Change it to number seven, but yeah. Um. You are so dumb. You are really dumb. For real. If we stay in Denver, maybe we can go to number seven or number 15 if somebody leaves. Um, if we go to a new team, obviously if we go to like New York, I can't choose number seven. And by the way, comment down below which team you think I'm going to go to in the next episode. What team do you reckon I, I'll go to? Do you reckon I'll stay in Denver? Do you reckon I'll go to New York, Chicago, LA, Miami? Which team do you think I'll go to? And by the way, um, throughout, because I've already, you know, started season two, um, I've already kind of changed Mello up a little bit. I got some uh, some new accessories, because right now he's only rocking the white, the white, what's it called, the leg, whatever he has on his legs, like the leg pads or whatever. Um, and he only has the, the white arm sleeve. So I did get some new colors uh, because obviously home and away jerseys, he did wear different colors and stuff like that um, when Melo played in Denver. And obviously now he obviously wears different color accessories. So yeah, right now I only have the white ones, but uh, in season two, you're gonna see I do change it up a little bit. Um, and yeah, Steven Adams got a pretty crazy block right there, but we're up against Durant and the Oklahoma City Thunder. And at the half, they're beating us by 43 to 51. I mean, they're just beating us right now. Eight point lead to the Thunder. And yeah, your boy's not doing too well. Melo's not playing too well. He's only got four points, one rebound, and one assist, shooting a 33% from the field. Yeah, I'm, I'm not playing too well. I get subbed back in in the third quarter with about four minutes left remaining in this, uh, in this quarter. And we're getting blown out by 20 points. So it's not looking good. And um, yeah. <laughs> The thing is, I don't get many minutes since I'm still on that eight game trial that you start out with when you start your My Career series, um, you know, first season of uh, the NBA. So, I'm, uh, yeah, I'm not looking uh, to get many minutes. Well, I'll, I, want, I want minutes, but if I don't hit shots like that, I'm not going to get minutes. So, coach didn't get me many minutes in the, in the uh, you know, the start of the series. So, in, in season two, the coach that I'm with, he gives me a lot of minutes, which is awesome. Um, you know, I, and look at this block. What in the world? He can somebody explain this to me? It's like a windmill block right here. What I never seen that in my life before he like blocked it once blocked it twice with his other hand doing some crazy like windmill block That was insane. I was like what the hell? How did he do that? And so that was pretty cool as you can see I draw the foul on Durant and I'm going to the line for two and obviously your boy only made one because uh <laughs> Yeah, I'm not. I'm not playing too on this game. I'm not even gonna lie. I'm. In fact, I'm playing terribly. I do get a nice layup right there, and that looked like Carmelo Anthony because of the uh, 
because of the dunk pack at uh, the uh, layup package that I put on him. I've got you know all the mellow um, shot and and layups and dunks and stuff like that that he actually has in the game. So I'm looking to get this uh, my career guy exactly like how Melo played. But obviously when I play with him, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get steals like that. I'm gonna get blocks and things like that that Melo wouldn't really do that often in real life. Like you don't really see Melo. You know, getting many assists in real life. Although in the other day, the other day he got like nine or eight assists, like with 15 rebounds, he played really well. So uh, yeah, shout out to Melo right here. But as you can see, I get a crazy, I get a turnover, and then your boy gets absolutely posterized. I'm not afraid to post this kind of stuff on YouTube. Like I could have easily cut that out, but you know that I'm 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 good like that, bro. I'll leave that stuff in there. So yeah, I got posterized right there. I'm not even gonna lie. That, that dunk was mean as hell. Then I get a foul right here and I'm fouled out. So I played the worst game of my career and uh, get it right there. It's my career, but nah. I played the worst game uh, that I've ever played before. I only got, you know, 680 VC, 9 points. Yeah, I didn't play too good right there. So now we're up in the second game. The last game of this season. The last game of my season, my first season, up against the Trailblazers. This is the time where I got to step up and do what I was doing in the first couple of games. And look at this. Moodya is shooting 10 points, 5 for 5 shooting, 3 rebounds, 3 minutes 36 seconds left in this first quarter. I was like, you know what? I gotta get my boy Moodya some buckets in this game. After this dunk, it's the Moodya and Mellow connection. I'm not even gonna lie. This dunk was kinda nice though. It was like my first dunk, I think, or maybe second. I don't even know yet. Um, but this is where me and Moody were just running plays with each other. He was setting a screen for me, or he was cutting to the basket, and I was just feeding it off to me. As you can see, look at this 1-2 connection. Just back. He passed to me, I passed to him, and he slams it down. Right here to Moody, easy layout for him, gets that to go. I'm just getting the assist to start out this game. I've got two assists and two points, and my boy Moody feeds me right here. I get the easy layup to go, so... Yeah, the Melo and Moutier connection, the m, &M connection is uh, is pretty good. Look at Moutier right here. I mean, that's just too easy. The defense is going to have to guard us. I mean, we're just killing teams right now. I mean, well, not teams because, yeah, we're the Denver Nuggets. <laughs> we're not really killing teams. But we have 30, 30 points in the first quarter. And uh, me and Mel uh, me and Moody are just, you know, feeding the rock to each other. And uh, it's looking good right now because Moody has dropped 18 points, shooting 9 for 10. He's only missed one shot in eight minutes of you know the, in the first quarter which is pretty crazy 18 points in the first quarter this guy is going for 50 tonight but you know my career is not like that they start to double team you and then you're completely screwed so uh yeah the, the coach subs out Moutier to uh to start the second quarter and so it's, it's tough for me to you know put in that work i hit him with that step back move and i missed the shot right there I go in for the layup and I get foul right here. So it's 32 to 20. I hit the two shots and make it a 34 to 20 game. I'm going inside. I get him to jump and I get the easy layup right there. 36 to 20. I just want to get like my first win because I swear to God, I haven't won a game and I was going for the slam and I get blocked right there. And so my teammate has my back. He blocks this guy on the other end. I was like, damn, that was a nice block. And then I get subbed out right here. So yeah, 40 to 25. Four minutes left in the second quarter. I get subbed out. And so we're only up by six points going into the second half of this game. Make it... I mean, we, we must have gone a little bit of a run because, uh, yeah, it's 58 to 45 now. And look at this. If Moutier doesn't take the assist... Like, if I feed Moutier and he doesn't shoot the rock, he can just feed it out to JJ Hickson right here. That was a nice play. I was pretty happy with that. Durant post posterized me on one game. And then the boy Damian Lillard posterized me on the other game. He gets the M1 right here, which brings the Trailblazers back in this game. I get subbed out, and now I get subbed back in with three and a half minutes left, and we are only up by one point. We can't lose this game. So I was like, okay, me and Moutier, we have that connection going on. Cut to the basket, go in for the layup, and that's an easy assist for me. And now we, we have a three point lead. I get a really nice steal right there. I didn't even mean to get that. And I was just making sure Damien Lillard didn't get the chase down block. He almost did, but Moutier went all the way for the sla uh, for the layup. And so, uh, yeah, three point lead once again. He feeds me on the cut right there, 88 to 83. Please, man, I just want to get a win. I want to get a win. We keep losing, and it's time for me to get a win. All right? 
88 to 83. One and a half minutes left, and that was the end result pretty much. We actually won the game. 90 to 83, a seven point victory for Denver. I'm pretty happy as you can see right there. I didn't get that much v, uh, yeah, VC. I only shot four for 10, and so yeah, I gotta improve. I gotta, I gotta try and average about 50% from the field. Uh, but yeah, I dropped 11 and 5, and uh, here is uh, a cutscene. If you guys want to click off the video, go ahead. Um, if you guys want to just watch like a 30 second cutscene, you know, just talked about free agency and stuff like that, here it is. I'm out. Leave a like, subscribe if you're new. Peace! Now, for you, winning is everything, but winning isn't something you could do alone. It requires excellent or at the very least competent coaching, contributing teammates, and God willing, good health. And we all know that's not a guarantee. Now, the reality is you're not in control of any of those other factors, but if you, as the star player, fail to win and deliver a championship, you will be held responsible. You will be scapegoated, you will be villainized, and you will be punished accordingly. So when you say to me that as a free agent, all you care about is being in the best position to win, I understand what you mean. But again, that's not only up to you. Now, I'm gonna call my guy at Apollo Jets. I'm gonna get us a private plane for this tour. I promise you, you're gonna love the free agency experience. We just want you to select a franchise that has great coaching, super talent, exposure, but most importantly, a ton of cap space. If the team doesn't win and you're to blame, at least you won't be broke, capiche? Peace.